Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon, I'm designer slash gamer. And today we're playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> How you guys doing? What's up? So I have been busy customizing things. I have done very little customization. I am ashamed to admit in almost, what are we at, 400 plus hours of Animal Crossing New Horizons gameplay, give or take, I have done very little customization. And that's just silly because you can customize things to an amazing extent. Some things that I didn't even realize were customizable, I have now customized. So here's the plan. I'm gonna show you guys a few things I customized. Um, they're not arranged in any particular order right now, but they're just sitting there because I wanted to see how they looked. So I'm going to turn this entire section up here that used to be the museum. Well, see, well, it was the museum. Yeah, I guess it was only the it was only ever the museum. I think for a brief time it was like a marketplace, but that didn't really pan out. So this up here was the museum, and now it's going to become an outdoor garden center thing. Now, I'm not sure how to lay it out just yet. That's going to come in the next episode. But I wanted to just customize a bunch of things and just see how they looked. So that's what you see here. You see a bunch of customized things. I didn't even know you could customize the, the little, the, the head, the standees. But you can. You can even customize the hay. Who knew? I got white hay. And I did pillows and other cool things. And you can even do the tree. I didn't know that. Now I do. And look at the little mountain back here. Isn't that cool? Anyway, so the point is, I've been customizing. Now the garden center is going to be really cool. It's going to have pathways and flowers and benches and plants and all kinds of stuff. Um, so we're going to work on that tomorrow. I need to order some more things in the mail so those can arrive. But I have quite a few items. I'm going to show you guys some more stuff I have at home. I also customized the water fountain. You can do that too. There's so many things you can customize. And look how cool the bamboo looks in that other color. I like that. So visiting your islands has opened my eyes to the possibilities of customization. So I can't wait to explore that more. And I think this is a pretty good spot back here for the garden center because it's right by the town hall. Oh, Bella. Oh. Oh, Bella. She needs a voice coach. <laughs> Just kidding, Bella. Just kidding. You're doing great. Yeah. No, it's great. You are so good at that. <laughs> you have that screen thingy. Yeah, so the screen is cool, but here's the question. Do you know if you can hang things on the screen? One of you guys is telling me I can actually hang stuff on the screen outside. What I want to do is put a custom pattern on that screen that looks like maybe like, I don't know, like I want to do a wall, like windows. And as if you were like looking out a window, like something like that. So it looks like it's a wall of windows. You know, like, because a section of this, I want to be a greenhouse. There'd be, there's going to be like an indoor greenhouse area and I want to make these panels look like they're part of a greenhouse, so that could be cool. I don't think you can. Oh. You can't? Oh, man. That's too bad. <laughs> anyway, so there's a lot of work to be done. And I think we're headed in the right direction with all this customization. And I think this is going to be super cool because we have a lot of stuff that we could put in a garden center. So it's going to be really nice. And then, of course, it's going to be right by our house, so that's cool. Yeah. Hi, Pietro. What's up? Well, if it isn't dinner. Yeah, it's me. It's been a while since we've crossed paths. Not really, Pietro. Has it really been a while? Oh, wait. He's Italian. I always forget that. I was uh, starting to wonder if you were under some kind of a non-disclosure agreement, like, about your life. Oh. No, no. No, sir. 
I thought I talked to him recently. You guys, I need to get better at talking to my villagers. Because apparently I go a long time without talking to them, and that's not really a great thing to do. You guys, look what I caught. Look at this. Look at that. I caught a lobster thingy. A crayfish. Isn't it cool? Of all of the, f the sea animals I've caught, that is the only lobster crayfish. I think I might leave, leave this little area, you guys. I put this in here forever ago. This little log bench. Maybe I'll update it a little bit, but I kind of like it over here. I don't really want to change this. I like the vibe. <gasps> That's weird. Do one of those roses turn black? Or maybe a black rose can grow if you water red roses. It's kind of neat looking. You guys guess who moved back? Well, you already know. Maybe she's home. She's not home. Let's go say hi to her. The original Charlize is officially back in our village. Yes, the same one that moved away. Hi, Gaston. Is back. Hey, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing good, buddy. All right, uh, so what to do now? Day is getting away from me. Uh, I don't know. Walk around, do stuff. You could help me gather bamboo. I need a lot more bamboo. Let's try and find Charlize. Where could she be? Maybe she's up here somewhere. Ooh, is that person crafting? Hang on. Let's check the, this person out really quick. I think you can get black from red ones because I, I had a mess of roses and accidentally got black ones. Cool. And apparently, one of you guys was telling me you can get gold, gold roses from black roses if you water them. Let's talk to Punchy. Punchy's wearing the Batman thing too! It's so popular today. I think I'm gonna wear it too. What do you think of my place? Make yourself comfy. Thanks, Punchy. What's the latest? Peck's birthday is right around the corner. Oh my gosh, what? Like a hungry shark, a birthday shark. <laughs> the 25th of this month. It's a super real special darn neat day that only comes once a year. That's cool. Are we streaming that day? All right, we're gonna put on the Batman thing because apparently it's the thing to wear today. Where is it? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, it's in the Able Sisters shop, though, I think. All right, we're going to go put it on. Because it's the thing to wear today. Maybe we should wear yellow shoes, too. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? You love Batman and Gaston. Me, too. Okay, on the way to the shop, we're going to try and find Charlize and say hi to her. I can't believe she's back. It makes me so happy that she's back. Oh, i got to pick, pick up the fruit. So today, you guys, we're going to focus heavily on crafting and customizing. I have a lot of things to craft and customize between now and tomorrow when I start building the garden center. So today, I want to get that stuff done, or at least heavily dented, so that we have stuff for tomorrow's stream. Good job, Bella. You are so good. You should sell an album like... Uh, like KK Slider does. Where the heck is Charlize? Mama Bear. Mama Bear. Maybe she's shopping. Charlize is not in here. But the shirt is, so let's get it. Uh, bottom row. That's the Batman hoodie. Diggy from Reach Bay designed it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wear it. You'll need to delete. Okay, that's fine. Sure, sure thing. Apparently, everyone is wearing the Batman shirt, so we're gonna wear the Batman shirt today. Delete it. Uh, Ryan says, "DSG, there is a bug off on Saturday." Yeah, great. We're, are we playing Animal Crossing on Saturday? Oh, I don't know if we're playing on Saturday. Look at this cool shirt. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to stream it. I'm not sure. Okay, let me wear the shirt. Oh wait, yeah, this way. Here we go. Custom designs. There it is. Wear. Ah, <laughs> yeah. But then I, it's kind of weird to have the flower in my hair now, you know, because Batman doesn't like flowers. Or does he? I kind of want some yellow shoes, too. Let's see if they have any yellow shoes. 
Yeah, I'll take the fitting room, please. You love the shops. Yeah, me too. They're pretty neat. It just seems like yellow shoes would work well with a with a Batman hoodie. Dang, there's no yellow shoes. Well, those. <laughs> no, I actually have yellow shoes at home. <laughs> um, you know, I kind of like that actually. I like it with the boots. Yeah. It just looks cool. Shorts, Batman, hoodie, and boots. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we're wearing the Batman hoodie today. Batman would probably like black flowers or very dark gray ones. That's a good point. We could put a black rose in our hair. That could be cool. So what else have I crafted, you ask? I will tell you, I've also crafted some other things. Let's go home and let me show you guys what I've crafted. Hey, Rattle. The garden center. Yeah, you're right, he is wearing it. Look at us. We match. Pietro, we match. We're all wearing the Batman tee today. I crafted a bunch of cool stuff for the garden center. So let me just show you guys a few of the things. Um, I'm gonna have to buy a lot more stuff though. Like a lot more plants from the shopping. So look, take a look at that uh, bamboo sphere up there with the flowers in it on top of the thing there. That comes in three different colors and they're all equally beautiful. So I have crafted a couple of those. We get some plants, we have some additional standees. Oh yeah, and I made a bunch of these and I customized them to so we can put flowers on them and stuff for the garden center and plants. Um, didn't, oh yeah, so we have some stakes too. I bought a bunch of these. These are limited time only, you guys. So buy these bamboo grasses because you can only buy these for a limited time. They're in that limited time shopping section. So be sure you go in and get some of those. Um, I made some pictures. I also made this cool bamboo lunch box and customized it because I thought that could be cool to put somewhere. And then I made a custom unglazed dish set, which should be cool. And then we're going to put some music around. I'm not sure what music to play. Maybe we'll play, uh, maybe we'll play, um, um, stale cupcakes because it's so nice. You can make a gold terrarium. Isn't that amazing? I can't believe I'm just discovering uh, customization for the first time. I'm gonna bring some of these things over there so we can drop them. Look at this. This bamboo sphere, isn't it beautiful? It comes in three different colors. We're gonna bring that over to the area too so we can see what it looks like. All right, so anyway, I made a bunch of stuff. I really wish you could hang stuff on the simple panels, but you can't, so. Oh well, that would be cool though. Okay, we can't do any of that stuff. All right, cool. So uh, let me put this stuff down so you guys can see it. I had to, it took me forever you guys. I had to move all those flowers. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a huge swath of yellow flowers over here and an equally huge, if not huger swath of red flowers over here. And I had to move them all and that takes forever to move all those dumb flowers. Okay, let me put down one of these cool uh, things. Where is it? Palm tree lamp. Imperial partition. Bamboo sphere, check it out. Look at that. That's so nice. Perfect for a garden center. And then we'll put the terrarium on this. This is not what this place is gonna look like, you guys. This is gonna be way different. But I just wanted to show you guys a few of the things that I'm working on. When I'm trying to design a space, I like to lay everything out, take a look at it, see what I have, see what works and what doesn't work. Because, you know, sometimes things look like they might work, and then you get them there and you're like, oh, this doesn't work at all. Can you, can you like stack stuff on top of the haystack? Is that a thing? Wait, no, that wouldn't work anyway. There's a tin bucket. Flower fan. Garden wagon. I have nothing to stack. But I want to see if you can stack stuff. Maybe you guys know. Does anyone know if you can do that? Let's find out. No, don't, don't you dare. We have so much work to do. Okay, let's try it. 
Oh man, you can't. Oh. I was really hoping you could. Because that would be super cool. If you could. But you can't, so I'm gonna get over it. That's fine. I like to be able to stack things, you know. But you can't stack anything on. But that does look cool. The hay stack. And you can lay on it if you get tired. Maybe we could put it under a tree or something. Okay, the other thing I'm very proud of you guys, and I didn't know this was even a thing. Look at this color. Well, that too. But there is... There's three different colors you can do for the Windflower fan. There's pink, there's red, and there's purple. And these are gonna look really cool. Can you put them on top of stuff? Let's try it. There's a pink one too. Oh, you can! Oh, sweet! Aren't those cool? I think some of those strategically, strategically placed around the garden center is actually gonna look really neat. Those little windflower fans. And it's cool you can do them in so many colors. <clears throat> so yeah. You can stack some furniture items, just depends on the items and then the furniture you're placing on it, yeah. I guess it's really about trial and error. You just gotta see what works and what doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> I also customized the biotope planter. Isn't that beautiful? I only had one version of this, so this version is new for me anyway. I'd never done that one before. And the cool thing about customizing you guys is once you customize them one single time, you then get access to that item in Photopia. So, as long as you've customized it that way, you can put it in Photopia and you can use that as a planning tool for your spaces. Uh, Atomic says, DSG, can you mail me the screen thing? Sure. So anyway, this shall be, this section will be the future garden center. I still have to lay it out, figure out what I want to do. I want to have trees and pathways and a greenhouse and a water fountain and all kinds of beautiful green plants. Which reminds me, I need to order some more. Let's go into our catalog really quick and order some plants before I forget. Because you can only order five per day. You can only order five per day. And you know what? I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm going to start with the bottom of the list here, though. Because I started with the top of the list last time. And so I want to make sure I get the Z plants in here. Or the W's or whatever, the X plants. Like the yucca. We'll do a blue one. Place order. Uh, just looking for the plants. Because you can only get so many plants per day. And we got to make sure we can get some more plants. You know what I want, you guys? I still don't have it yet. The wild log bench. The flat one. That you can actually put stuff on. I only have the... the, the that this I don't I want the like sawed version I don't have that yet the DIY recipe for it we gotta work on Pietro's yard someday put some gravestones in there <gasps> I bet you can customize that we should make one and just see how you can customize it because today's all about customizing hey this could be good for the garden center welcome there's flowers on it I have that somewhere. I think it's in my house. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, when did I get that? That's beautiful. When did I get that? I'm gonna put that in my crafting room. Look how cool that is. Isn't that nice? Squeaky says, DSG, after the stock market crashed during the Amiibo Festival, went, Joe went on a rampage, causing her to go insane with the increase of prices resulting in her being banished to Azkaban, Joan later picked up her wreck of a business <laughs> and took it up on her own. She only knew what the prices were and knew not to tamper with them. <laughs> That's hilarious, Liam. <laughs> How the heck did you get Nook shopping on your phone? Because I'm that good. If you buy, if you buy enough stuff from Nook's cranny, one day they call you up and say, hey, you're basically a VIP, so you get an app now. And you can buy stuff from no, no matter where you are, you can buy stuff. It's a really nice perk. 
I can see if I have an extra DIY for it. Yeah, do you mind? Because I really could use that for my garden center. That'd be wonderful. Wall clock, my fan, utility. You know, this might be good. I think I have one in my house though. The utility sink. Piano, locker, puzzle. Mm, mm. I have that at home. Um, a lot of these are DIY recipes too. I kind of wish they didn't put the DIY recipes in the same section as the for sale stuff because it makes the list a lot longer and you can't even buy it anyway. So why put it in here? You know, put it in a separate section. And tell us where we can get it or look at it. We already have a bucket. Just want some more plants because we need a lot of plants. Oh, I love the dino thing. That's not for sale. We're going to make more of those terrariums, you guys. You know what I need more though? I need more cans. I only have one of those succulent cans and I've been fishing. Not very much, admittedly, but a little bit. I've been fishing and I still cannot find additional cans. Do you guys find a lot of cans when you go fishing? We're gonna make some of these lanterns too. Some more rocks. Every day, you guys, I've been collecting my stones, I've been collecting my clay, and I've been collecting wood and stuff every single day so that we would have materials. This, I need cans. I've been doing that so we'd have materials. What? This is adorable. Why didn't I know I had this? Study poster? I didn't know I had that. That's adorable. Study desk, study chair. Whoa, I have a variation on the street organ? Cool. Anyway, so I've been collecting all my dailies so that I could, we could do more of this, you know, more crafting. And I'm trying to find plants, but I'm not really finding many plants. You know, the shell fountain could look pretty good here too. <gasps> I have two variations on the serene page. <gasps> that reminds me, you guys. Sorry, I'm sorry. Red is here today. I hope he's still here. Because he was here earlier. He better still be here. I didn't want to go talk to him until you guys got here. But Red is here on my island. Okay, where are the dang plants? <gasps> Ooh, that could look good in there. Let's get one of those. Yeah. That will look good in there. Oh, so will the stool though too, because we can we can put stuff on top of the stools. Low table. He better still be here. Does he leave at a certain time? He better not be gone. I'm gonna get mad. Maybe that's why I never see him because he leaves after a certain time. Okay, so we're gonna cra we're gonna craft some of those palm tree lamps. Just looking for any additional plants that I don't have yet. That could be potential. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. I want one of these. A moss ball. Oh dang, I've already, oh. See what I mean, you guys? Okay, we need to go find Red. He's there all day, good. Let's go find Red. Because I really, do I have any money? I wanna get some more money because I wanna buy everything Red has. I don't care if it's fake or not because I can use it to decorate. So, I'm gonna buy everything he has. Don't care if it's fake. I can use it to decorate or catalog or something cool. So, I'm no, I'm okay with fake art. It's fine. Let's take out some money. We're gonna buy everything Red has. Withdraw. Unless it's like crazy, crazy, crazy expensive. Let's take out 200,000. Okay. DSG, what is your feud favorite furniture in Animal Crossing? Is it is plant? Is it the plant in the glass? My favorite piece of furniture? It's a good. I need to think about that. I don't know. I don't know. Where do you guys think Red would be? Sometimes they're hanging out over here in my orchard, being all shady. Other times, other times they're over by Sheila's house, being equally shady. 
And we all know red is the shadiest of them all. Let's see if he's up here by the campsite. Nope. I got DIYs laying everywhere, so when you guys come over, you can pick up some of those DIYs and take them. Anybody seen a shady character around here? See, there's his boat. There's his shady boat. Could he be in the boat? He's only at the secret beach. Oh. But I've seen him wandering around before. I don't have my ladder with me. What? Oh, wait, so he does he never wander anymore? After that first time I talked to him? No wonder I haven't seen him. Because I'm never really looking at the secret beach. I always just see if I run into somebody, then I figure... Oh. Okay. Well, that could be why I haven't bought anything from Red in a while, because I didn't realize he wouldn't be walking around the beach. So. <laughs> uh, thanks for following, Siwi. Siwi. Why do I have three ladders? What is the point of that? You know what'll be cool, you guys? I can stack these little cedar saplings and hy and hydrangea starts and stuff, some of them, on top of, you know, shelves and things in our garden center. And it'll look really cool. And the bamboo shoots, just like I did right over here in the garden room. Like that. Why is the room such a mess? Pick this stuff up. I don't know why I have spoiled turnips everywhere. Probably should put those in the kitchen. Which reminds me, I kind of want to get some espresso, because I'm kind of, uh, thirsty. Need some energy. If you check the map, his shop appears on the map when he's there. Yeah, I should probably check the map every day. <gasps> oh my gosh, how long has this been on? Dang it! <sighs> Alright, let's get some coffee. Mmm, yum! That's what happens when I drink coffee. I'm very sensitive to caffeine in a good way. <laughs> That's me on coffee. Okay, let's go talk to Red. Now that I know he's only ever on his ship. I don't know why I didn't know that. What do you got today, Red? What do you got? <gasps> Ooh, you already had this stuff last time, didn't you? Well, if it isn't my favorite cousin, glad you have... You have... I feel like he has a Russian accent, don't you guys think? Can I do a Russian accent? Well, if it isn't my favorite cousin... No, that's like Italian. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do Italian accent. Or Russian. Russian. Oh, store a policy. No, I can't do it. I can't. It's, it's, it keeps going Italian. <laughs> I feel like I've already bought some of this stuff, though. Red, you have nothing new. I know I already bought that. And I don't know if I've already bought any of these or not. How much is this fake statue, Red? I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking me about buying that beautiful statue there. Wait, maybe he has like a villain voice. Mm, I don't know, I can't think of a good voice for Red. And that's not bad, I'll buy it. Do you guys think it's fake? Oh, it has a necklace on, it's definitely fake, right? Only one item per person. Dang it! He fooled me again then. I thought I could buy all of his stock. I just bought the fake statue. Because I know they don't put necklaces on those statues. Dang it, Red. <laughs> I bet the real one is one of these two, huh? I don't know which one it is. I can tell you which one is fake. Oof. Yeah, well now I can't buy anything else. Red! Let me take a look. I feel like that's not real. She doesn't have earrings in the painting, right? Because I've seen that painting before. He literally says that first thing when you walk in. <laughs> 
Well, like, I read what he says. Come on. No one has time to read. <laughs> Let's take a look. Can I return that fake statue, Red? Hmm. Let's zoom in. That looks real to me. That one is real. Dang it! Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. My museum... The art... I can buy this stuff though, can't I? I don't need that, I already have that. The charm and elegance of the very first carrot juice wrapped up in an in incense burner. Sure, I'll buy that. I don't think I have that color of incense burner yet. Um, my art wing is woefully empty and I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. You won't regret it. Oh, I'm sure I will, buddy. I'm certain I will regret it. 